Hi guys, welcome to Royal Logos. It's my pleasure to have you here and I really hope that you all are doing well. In today's tutorial, we will draw this loop of braided rope. This type of rope design tutorial is very common in Adobe Illustrator, but in Inkscape you will find no such tutorial. As Inkscape is a powerful alternate of Adobe Illustrator, but it also needs some extra tips and tricks. So in today's tutorial, we will use such a trick to design this braided rope. Now let's start with the design process in Inkscape. So first of all go to view and select it to wide. Again go to view, go to show and hide and make sure that all of the options are turned on like this. Now go to file, select document properties, select display units to pixels and custom units to also pixels. Change the width to 1280 and height to 720 pixels like this. Now as you can see this is over command bar and at the end of command bar you will see a small arrow. Left click on it and select align and distribute. Again left click and select fill and stroke like this. Now select zoom to fit to page. Now select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle like this. We doesn't need the stroke so we will cancel it by clicking on this cross icon while holding down the shift key like this and give it some solid color like this red color. Now select this rectangle and change the width of rectangle to 500 pixels and height of the rectangle to 250 pixels like this. Now we will turn on the snapping. So first of all turn on this snapping option then turn on the snap to notes and paths and turn on all of these options like this. Now select the circle tool and draw a circle from one end of the rectangle like this. Now increase the dimension of the circle so that it meets this quadrant point like this. Now right click on this circle, duplicate it and drag it up to this point. Now select both of these circles, go to path and select combine. Now select both of these shapes, go to path and select division. Now we cannot differentiate between the parts so we will give it some stroke color by clicking on this black color while holding down the shift key like this. Now we can differentiate between the parts. Now select this part with the left click of mouse and press delete on the keyboard and also delete this one, this one and this one. Select these paths, go to path and select union. Now increase the opacity of the path to 100% like this. Now we doesn't need the fill so we will cancel it by clicking on this cross icon like this. Now we will lock the dimensions like this and reduce the dimensions of this part to 110 pixels like this. Now go to fill and stroke menu, go to stroke style, set the units to pixels and change them to 5 pixels like this. Now again set the width to 110 pixels like this. Go to object and select transform. In the transform menu go to rotate and select the angle to 45 degrees and select the direction to anti-clockwise direction like this and select apply. Now right click, duplicate it and drag it horizontally while holding down the control key up to this point like this. Now select both of these parts, go to path and select stroke to path. Now you can select zoom to fit to selection like this. Now select the pencil tool and draw a vertical line while holding down the control key like this and again like this. Now select this line and this path, go to align and distribute menu. In the relative to select last selected and select center on vertical axis and horizontal axis like this. Go to path and select division. Now left click this part and press delete on the keyboard. Again select this one and this part. Again select on center on vertical axis and also on horizontal axis like this. Go to path and select division. And delete this part like this. Now select both of these parts. Go to path and select union. Now select zoom to fit to page like this. Now select the circle tool and draw a circle while holding down the control key like this. Now it doesn't need the stroke so we will cancel it by clicking on this cross icon while holding down the shift key and giving it some color like this light red color like this one. Now we will go to path and select object to path. Now we will lock the dimensions and set the dimensions of the circle to say 355 pixels like this and place it at the bottom selection like this. Now select both of these parts, go to extensions. Go to generate from path and select pattern along path like this. From the copies of the pattern select repeated. From the deformation type select snake and here check on this duplicate the pattern before deformation and select apply. 
like this press close now select this circle and delete it also select this part and delete this one select this braided rope go to align and distribute menu from the relative to select page and center on vertical axis and also on horizontal axis now we will give it some stroke color like this black color by left clicking on this black color while holding down the shift key like this now this is too much thick so we will go to fill and stroke menu and in stroke style we will decrease the width to say 8 pixels like this now go to path and select stroke to path now you can change the colors of your own choice like this this is our final design on braided rope now if you think that this video helps you in some way then please like and subscribe the channel thanks for watching and have a nice day